Hello class. I decided I wanted to show you this uh, way I use to solve equations with logs. I use exponentiation, which needs an explanation. So I put together this little slideshow and hopefully this, this will work for you. First, how would you solve uh, three equals the square root of x plus two? Well, you'd have to, uh, you have to apply the inverse. What's the inverse of square root? You square both sides. And now you just have nine equals x plus two, x equals seven. Well, you gotta use inverses. And that's what logs and exponential functions are inverses of each other. So what I wanna show you now is an easy way to get rid of that log, all right? So that you can just get back to algebra, all right? So here's an example. Actually, this one is just like the one in your homework, all right? Now, how would you solve log base 3 of 7x equals 2? See, we need to apply the inverse, and this is called exponentiation. This is this is the way I prefer doing it. It, it doesn't make your brain hurt. It's real easy to do. When you see a log, you want to make it an exponent, and that's called exponentiation. This is what it looks like. We're base 3. So we're going to make the log an exponent. We're using the same base as the log, which is 3. And so what we're saying here is that we're raising 3 to what you have to raise 3 to to get 7x. You see? We're raising 3 to what you have to raise 3 to to get 7x, which is 7x. This is... And so this goes to 7x equals 9, because 3 squared is 9, all right? And now it's just one more step, x equals 9, 7. So this is, this is called exponentiation. You're using, you're making a log an exponent. And you just, like I just, on a board or whatever, I just make a big base. It's the same as the log. And that just, the, the 3 and the log base 3, they can't, the base 3 and the log of 3 cancel out. So you end up with just 7x. All right, it's very easy. And and if you see a log, just, just exponentiate. You make the log an exponent, use the same base. I have one more example to show you. Here's one here. Solve log of x plus log of x minus 9 equals 1. Condense it into a single log first. That's why you have to know your log property. So you have the log of x times x minus 9 equals 1. It's a product property. Now, there's no base indicated here, so it's, it implies it's base 10. It's common log. So we're going to exponentiate with 10s, okay, on both sides. What you do on one side, do the other side. The 10 and log x, the log, they cancel out. So you just have x times x minus 9 equals 10. I put it in standard form of a quadratic. Factor it. You get two possible answers. You can't take, we have to go back to the original problem. You can't take a log of, of a negative so we can cancel that one out. And so your answer is 10. So I just think that exponentiation is the easiest way whenever you see a log just make it an exponent. What you do to one side, you do to the other side. And bingo, you're right back to algebra, okay? Well, I hope this helps. I'm going to put put this on, uh, probably on YouTube. And then I also um, I put this slide thing I made on uh, Google Classroom so you can use it. Have a nice weekend and uh, take care. We'll see you later. Bye.